Hello everyone, today we're gonna do something for sweet lovers. I'm gonna show you how you can make this delicious triple chocolate cake with almonds and mascarpone at home. So I hope you're gonna like it and let's start it. And let's start with mascarpone whipped ganache. And I'm gonna need mascarpone, sugar, double cream, white chocolate and vanilla. I'm gonna leave full recipe for everything in the description down below, so you can check it out. I start with one part double cream and sugar inside the pot and I'm gonna bring it to the boil. Then I'm gonna chop my white chocolate to smaller pieces so it's gonna melt faster and I'm gonna move it into the bowl. I also cut my vanilla in the half and I'm gonna scrape the seeds out. Mix them with double cream, cook it for one more minute and now I can melt my chocolate with hot cream. When my chocolate is completely melt, I can put the rest of the double cream and mascarpone in. And I blitz everything properly with a hand blender. And now I can put clean film on the top and I'm gonna leave it inside the fridge for around 6 hours to set. And when you do things like this, make sure you always stick the clean film on top of the liquid so you don't get any crust. The next thing I have to do is easy white chocolate ganache, which I use for decorating my cake. For ganache like this, you want to use two parts of cream and one part of chocolate. So I'm going to use 100 grams of double cream and 50 grams of white chocolate now. I bring my double cream to the boil inside the pot and then I mix it with white chocolate. Again, put clean film on the top and I leave it inside the fridge. And now it's time to start with milk chocolate cream. So I'm gonna need milk, flour, corn flour, butter, egg yolks, sugar, milk chocolate and the gelatin. And I start with mixing egg yolks, corn flour, plain flour, sugar and a little bit milk inside the bowl. The rest of the milk, I'm gonna bring it to the boil inside the pot and then I'm gonna mix it inside the egg yolks. Then I'm gonna transfer it back inside the pot and I'm gonna cook it on low heat around 10 minutes so everything becomes thicker and I cook the flour. And now I can move it inside the bowl Mix it with the gelatin and butter. And the last thing I have to put in is milk chocolate. So I'm gonna melt it on bain marie and then I mix it with my pastry cream. And I can transfer it inside a plastic box, put clean film on the top and I'm gonna leave it to set overnight. Making of this cake is best to split in two days because you need quite a lot of time to set everything inside the fridge. So the last thing I'm gonna do today is the sponge and the rest I'm gonna finish tomorrow. So I put eggs with sugar, plain flour and almond flour inside the bowl and I'm gonna whisk it properly. Next thing I need for my sponge are egg whites. So I'm gonna whisk them until they are thick and let's mix them together. At this time, I also put melted butter and then I'm gonna mix my egg whites slowly in. And 
And now I can transfer it on my baking tray with baking paper. Spread it nicely. And I'm gonna bake it 180 degrees Celsius around 10 minutes. I leave the sponge to cool down on the side and the rest I'm gonna finish tomorrow. And the next day we start building the cake. And the first thing I need is crispy chocolate bottom. So let's do it. For my bottom, I'm gonna need basic wafers, milk chocolate and butter. First step is to crash my wafers with the hands to small pieces. Then I can melt my milk chocolate on the bain marie. Mix my chocolate with melted butter and then mix everything with wafers. Now I can put my mix inside the mold and I'm gonna press it nicely. I'm gonna cool it down inside the fridge and now let's whip the ganache. So I put my mascarpone ganache inside the bowl and I'm gonna whisk it until I get nice cream. And you should end up with something like this. I put it inside the piping bag and leave it inside the fridge for later. And the next thing I have to whisk is my chocolate pastry cream. So I mix my cream with butter inside the bowl and I'm gonna whisk it properly. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. At this time was my whisk gone, so I have to use this second extension, which is not perfect, but I don't have any other options now. So I did my best, but the mix is not perfect. There are still small pieces of the butter inside, which are not whisk enough, but I cannot fix it now, so let's finish it. So I'm gonna spread my chocolate mix on top of my crumble. Then is coming my sponge on the top. At this time you can put some syrup with alcohol or coffee on the top. But I don't really like these wet cakes. I like them more dry, so I leave it how is it. Here you can see nicely the pieces of the butter inside. If you whisk it properly, you don't want to see them at all. So I make it nice and flat and then I put another sponge on the top. And now it's time to finish it with my mascarpone ganache. The cake is ready. So I'm gonna put it inside the freezer for a few hours and then we're gonna finish it. And in the meantime, I can prepare my glaze with almonds. So I'm gonna chop them roughly and I'm gonna bake them inside the oven for a few minutes until they get nice color. Then I'm gonna melt dark chocolate with butter on bain marie and later on I mix them together. So the cake is a little bit frozen now, so I can cut my portions. And guys, if you enjoy Intron's recipe, don't forget to give a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what would you like to see more on my channel so I can make it for you. The almonds are nicely roasted, they are cooled down. 
I can mix them with my chocolate. And now I can finally cover my cakes with chocolate glaze with almonds. I'm gonna make the top flat with spatula and I'm gonna put them inside the fridge to set. So the cake is inside the fridge and the last thing I have to do is to whip my white chocolate ganache and decorate the top. So let's do it. So I whisk the ganache inside the bowl until it's thick and let's decorate the cake. I also put few leaves of lemon balm and violet flowers on the top and the cake is ready to go. So what do you think guys? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. And if you would like to learn more about fun and cooking or get my personal one-on-one -on -one coaching, check out the links in the description below. That's everything for today. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.